Welcome back, my friends, to the fourth episode of Skyrim Life as a Thief. Now, if you remember, in the last episode, we pulled off the grand Golden Glow Estate heist. We uh, looted the safe, got some jewels, stole many, many cheese wheels, as you can see here. I've got and wine as well. I've got look at all this cheese, man. We've got cheese enough to last like whoa. My carrot is exactly maxed out. Okay, let's let's go sell this cheese because I, I can't really justify carrying all this cheese around with me. It's taking up all my carry weight. But anyway, yes, we robbed Golden Glow Estate, we impressed Brynjolf, and now Maven Blackbriar wants to talk to us. So our next quest is to go talk to Maven Blackbriar, see what she has. You know, some, some job offerings, you know, we're moving up in the world now as a thief. We're moving up in the world. But before I do go out, I want to increase my arrow capacity with uh, the flaming arrows. I want to get some more flaming arrows, and of course, I'll get rid of this cheese as well. So let's go over here and buy some more flaming arrows, because those flaming arrows are pretty damn useful. Alrighty, let's go buy some goddamn flaming arrows. Hello, kind, kind ma'am. Okay, we've got enough arrows now. Let's go meet Maven Blackbriar. I'm not quite sure what she wants, but I, I'm, I, it's probably going to be some kind of quest to steal something, seeing as how I am a thief. Speaking of stealing, let's take this coin purse. Ten gold added. Haha. <laughs> I'm stealing from thieves. Alright, let's just go talk to Maven Blackbriar. Oh, okay, Maven Blackbriar, she is in the keep, isn't she? Yes, so the keep is just over here. Not too far away at all. Oh, she wants to talk to me in the be in the barb, okay. Interesting. Let's do this. She's upstairs, I think she's upstairs, isn't she? Greetings, Maven Blackbriar. Where do I begin? Oh no. Are we going back to White Run? Oh no, I'm wanted there. Oh god, I'm wanted at Whiterun. Man, okay, we're gonna have to sneak. <laughs> so yeah, my current bounty in Whiterun is 80 gold, so I've got I've got a bounty on me. Oh my god, I didn't realise I was still on 133 items already. <laughs> oh no. Oh, you know what, I reckon we'll uh, we'll get a horse and carriage to the outside of Whiterun so we don't teleport right inside. And then we can sneak in. Because, you know, being wanted, we don't want to fast travel straight into the sit town centre because we're going to get attacked by guards, so we'll hire this dude's carriage. Oh, to hire your carriage, kind sir. White run. Climbing back. Oh, and it is night time, which is great because it gives us the cover of darkness. Man, look at the sky. It's always so lovely in Skyrim, man. Oh. What are these dudes up to? Anything I can steal? Uh, nothing really. Aha, now there's a guard up there. I must find another way around. Guarding the gates. Can I parkour my way to victory? I wonder. Let's try and see. Let's get onto the battlements. See if I can parkour my way up. I think I can. Oh, there's a guard right on the gate as well. I forgot. Two guards. However, am I gonna. Aha, I've got a plan. This should do it. Slug breath, go and chase the arrow, slug breath. Can't blackjack them, they're gonna see me. I'm wanted. I might just pay my fine. I've got no stolen goods on me right now, so I might just have to like bite the bullet and pay my fine just to be allowed back into the city. Alright, yeah, I've, it's, it's only 80 gold and I haven't got my bounty, so let's just approach while crouched, see what happens. No. Oh, they're not attacking me. Okay. I know you. No, you don't. No, you don't. You do not know me. Okay, so it's only 80 gold, so I think that's why they won't attack me on site. What's this? Property for sale. Oh, it's Fendel's Farm. Fendel's Farm. Okay, the Bannered Mare is where they want us. Luckily, we don't have to sneak around the streets, which is great. I thought I'd still be, they would still be hostile against me, but I guess not. We just leave, there's so much cheese in Skyrim, man. It's such a cheese populated world. I wonder if Brynjolf and the Apothecary have recovered from, uh, so not Brynjolf, I mean, uh, what's this guy's name again? Bellathor, that's it. Bellathor and the, uh, Apothecary have, have, uh, survived my brutal robbing of their establishments. Let's get inside the, the inn. Right, where's my contact? Is he dead? Hello? Maven said you were expecting me. Um, no, I don't. Leave me alone. Well, you came to me! You approached me! Do you want to get the treatment of my blackjack, do you? That's what you're gonna get, huh? Got my blackjack, huh? Damn. Rude people, man. Rude. Ooh. Let's steal from this. Have you got a key on you? Oh, you have got some valuables on you, though. Let me just steal from you. One sec. I'll take your gold and your necklaces. 
Take your dagger as well, so I don't get any ideas of taking revenge. And uh, I want to steal this from this loot box as well, because it's got some valuables inside. There we are. What have you got? Oh, nice little bit of gold there. Okie doke. I think uh, we'll leave you. I could wake her up, but I haven't got the, the smelling salts, so I, could, I can only wake them up with smelling salts. In order to wake you need smelling salts, so yeah, okay. Let's just leave her. She'll wake up a, with a sore head, but she'll wake up eventually. What the heck? What the hell was that? Okay, yeah, my, I think I think the amount of mods I've got on is kind of breaking my game because this is this is getting weird now. That guy just zoomed off at like Mark Ten, just like, damn, what was going on there? Is that the that's and the, there's the dead curry again, following me around yet again. Hello, kind sir. <sighs> what is going on with this guy? His like body is following me everywhere. Let's try resurrecting him. See what happens. Boom. I've been for you. Ah, yes, I think we've sorted it out. So for some reason the Kari was dead, and I resurrected him using console commands, and the reason his body's been following me, I think, is because he, uh, his... <laughs> he's been trying to give me letters. He's Because I've got a... Because I've got a everyone can die mod, these guys are normally Sorry. unkillable, but because he can be killed. He's still scripted to fast travel to cities where I am to give me letters, but because he's dead, it was the dead body that was appearing. And since I resurrected him, he's completed his his, his script of giving me the letter. So let's uh, see these letters. I've got a letter of inheritance, okay, which is a bit weird. Um, let's read who this is from. It is with great regret that we inform you of Nivenor's death. Now, a quick bit of research. Just give me that Nivenor is the wife... Of the of the person who owns the Riften Fishery. Now I'm not quite sure why she gave me inheritance or why she's dead. I believe we robbed her because we got the we got the fishery key. I remember we did rob her. We knocked her out with our blackjack, I believe. Um, not quite sure how she ended up dying. <laughs> I, I, I honestly I don't know what's going on with with the NPCs in this series right now. <laughs> They're all like dying randomly and their bodies are just spawned. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Um, we got 10 gold pieces. <laughs> oh, so we got 100 gold pieces. They took 10, so we got 90 gold pieces from Nivenor's death. We'll go back to her house and check out what's going on. Not quite sure what, how she died or why. Uh, and I'm not quite sure why she gave us inheritance, seeing as how we don't know her. Uh, we robbed her and knocked her out. Not that she even knows it was us who did it, but I, I, I don't know. Oh, I, don't, I really don't know. Okay, look, Hungry Meadery is just on the outskirts of White Run, so it's not too far away at all. We should make it there pretty quickly. Let's just jump off the battlements. Oh, look at this ruined bit of castle. Oh no. This dish is not good. Oh, let's just warm up by the fire. Oh. Alright, yeah, just in this just in this in general direction. There's a lot of farms on the outskirts as well that we could possibly rob. But the meadery is our is our goal right now. Oh, traveller! Let's pickpocket from you. I'll take this. Oh no! Okay, 25 bounty. I thought I was in stealth mode. Don't know why she found me. And she's now definitely aggroed on me. I need to lose her before I go to the needery. My, I'm just too greedy for my own good, I think. Because now she's after me and I need to lose her. Luckily, well, unlucky for me, she doesn't. NPCs don't have stamina and I do, so they can catch up with me fairly easily. Alright, I want to I wanna be left alone, please, so I can do my quests. If you get... Right, if she loses aggro on me, I'm going to knock her out of my blackjack, because screw her. Alright, I'm going to stun her, and then I'm going to run. Alright, if I stun you... There we are. Boom, she's blind. Now I take that opportunity to run and hide behind this tree. And she doesn't know where I am. Hell yeah, that's how you work as a thief, man. That's thief ability is right there. So, so we need to just get this quest done. I'm just messing around way too much, but... Being a thief is incredibly fun, especially with these decent mods. Now, where is she? Oh, she's going over there. Okay, yeah, the the blinding arrows definitely work. Uh, I will knock. I was going to knock her out, but uh, I think I I shot her directly with the arrow as well. So I think I'll leave her be, you know, for now. Did that did not help with my uh, bounty level at White Run, by the way. My bounty is now higher. Uh, it's, it's gone past a hundred gold now. So, <laughs> yep, this is not good. But, in good news, the meadery is just here, so we can get this quest done, get rid of these skeevers, and uh, poison the goddamn mead. 
Oh, hell yeah. Oh god, you've already killed a few I can see. You've definitely got a Skiva problem for sure. Can't wait to start looting this place. Ugh. What are you gawking at? Can't you see I have problems here? I can see that. Are you kidding me? I'm supposed to be holding a tasting of the new Oh, a tasting. If he sees the meter in this so I know the story. I can help you guy. I know the story. Just give me the poison. Just pay me when the job's done. Alright, sweet. He's got the poison. You've got a deal, kind sir. Give me my payment after I'm done. And I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll poison for you. That being said, I do want to steal some of this mead because it's worth quite a lot. Just don't look at me while I steal all your, all your delicious mead. Okay, I'm about ready to start now. I've uh, taken pretty much all your mead, but you know. No, let me just do it, you ass. You're being an absolute ass to me. That's why I'm stealing all of your mead. I can. Oh, are these barrels filled with mead. Oh my god, they are. They're filled with mead. Oh my god, I can steal so much. My carry weight is already increasing, though, so I, I shouldn't take any. There's so much mead, though. Who, who would turn down just stealing bottles? Look at all this mead. Oh my. All right. Before I do the actual poisoning, I want to steal the valuables from his safes and things like that. So let's just investigate. Oh, we got why is there a bed row up here? Let's just investigate what's uh, going on in his office area. Ooh, kind of mead key. Fine boots. More more mead and cheese. This <sighs> cream tree. I don't want it. I don't want your cream treats. I want gold. Ooh, what's this? Someone wants the. Someone wants the. Oh, this is a note from Maven. Wants to steal. Sorry, he wants to buy the meadery, but he won't sell. Guess that's why we're here. Huh? That's why we're here, doing our job. Infiltrating and stealing. Well, stealing wasn't really part of it, but... Oh, let's open the dresser. <gasps> it requires a key. Okay, I'll steal his key. From his, his person at some point. Okay. <laughs> I'm kind of curious about what's behind here now. It's an expert lock. Alright, I'm running out of lock picks. This is an expert lock. Oh no. Oh, there we are. Oh, nearly. Okay, no about where it is now. Come on, we can do this. Oh no. I'm using a lot of lockpicks on this door. There better be good shit behind here. Oh no. What the hell? I nearly got it. What are you on about? There we are. There we are, finally. The lockpick has increased. I do need to level up at some point. Oh, <gasps> silver. I'll take that, take that, take that. Oh, Hunting Brew Decanter. Ooh. Oh, another thing to give to delve in now. Very nice. Damn, we just needed a lot. That was worth picking that lock. He had some silver bars back there, my dudes. What's in the wardrobe? Some gold. Uh, just plates and stuff. We don't need to take that. Not really worth it. I'm going to quickly level up now because I can increase my barter and actually sell these for way more. Oh, you know what? I'm going to increase my stamina and my health. Um, alright, we need to up up our speech, I think. Right, let's just put it more into... Oh, I can't. I need to... I haven't got enough level. Okay, that'd be, that'd be enough for now. Because I'm going to sell those silver bars at the, uh... At the fence. I want to actually get better prices, you know. Okay, so we've robbed that guy from his, uh... His treasury. Got some silver and, and some jewels. So we've, we've got our own personal payment from this quest now. And now we can do, uh... What we need to do. Do still want to loot that dresser though, but it requires his key. So I'm going to see if I can actually nick it from him before he gets. Oh, there's dudes here. Need to bring out a uh, weapon that's not a blackjack since that does zero damage. When the hell did I get a Skyforge steel sword? Did I, I stole that from someone? Don't know where I got that from, but okay, it's going to be useful. Ah, I got I got diseased by a goddamn Venom Venom Fang Skeever. You diseased ass. Ah, man. I, need to take a, I think I stole a potion of cure disease actually, which will come in handy. There we are, a potion of cure disease. I'll wait until this is done though, so I don't get immediately diseased again right after. I've got something in my pocket for every situation, seeing as how I've been stealing so much. Better not be any more spiders or skeevers, I swear. I'm so done with them now. Ooh. Oh yeah, I don't activate traps anymore, do I? Because I've got the, uh, the perk, the sneak perk. Hell yeah. Let's get rid of that though. There we are. Ow, did not mean to do that. Need to wait for it to stop swinging. Oh god, there's a magic dude. Oh, Let's run. See if I can knock him out with my blackjack rather than having to uh, fight him one-on-one. -on -one. 
Oh, they found me. Die. There we are. He's given up now. Damn, blunting arrows are very useful. Yes, now turn around so I can knock you out. That's what I wanted. There we are. I love the blackjack so much. Oh, Hamlin, what, what are you like? Let's loot you. What have you got? I'll take that. Oh, you've got a journal. I'll take that. I'll take, all, I'll take everything from you. Uh, I can't leave you alive, though, because I kind of need to get rid of all the rodents, and you have been the master of the skeevers, and if I leave you alive, you are just going to bring them back, so I'm going to have to slit your throat, I'm afraid, while you're knocked out. Um, it's it's harsh, yes, but, you know, I'll, I'll make it quick with a great sword, I think. Oh, this is not quick at all, he's getting up now. Come on, come on, Hamlin. Come on, Hamlin. Let's, let's not do this. Come on, just just go down. Just there we are. I'm so, I'm so, I'm I, I'm I'm so sorry. That was very brutal. Oh, I've already looted you. I don't, I don't need to loot you. <laughs> I've already looted you when you knocked, when I knocked you out. Sweet. Let's. Uh, oh, this is the way he's been living. Hamlin, you weird little rat boy, huh? Three thieves. That'd be some good reading later. So open your chest. And now let's poison the barrels of mead. Oh hell yeah! Here we are. We've entered the, the meadery, the brewing facility, if you will. Okie doke. Now before we, oh, let's just. Oh, we have to get up. We have to get up top. I was going to set a steel before we do do the actual thing, but we don't need to. All right, let's put the poison in here. There we are. Uh, oh, a steel from this chest. Come on, give me some. Eleven gold, come on. They, they're putting use, useless things inside these locked chests, man. Come on. Take a sweet roll for lunch, I think. Ooh. A new brew house key. Ve Ooh. Oh, okay, it was just for that door. <laughs> okay. Hello, good sir. I have done what you have requested of me. Job's finished. Well, it's about time. I had to stall the captain until you were... But my pay. Wait until after the captain's finished. I suppose you can wait around. God damn, okay. Wait to see Same, dude. Oh, it's gonna be interesting. Is this guy gonna die right now? Well, meat is just wine, but made from honey instead of grapes, isn't it? What's in this? I, I don't know. You don't know what's in your own meat, ha ha. Ha ha ha. See. see to it that you remain in irons for the rest of your day. Damn, dude. He's busy, I can't. Oh, he's under arrest. I'll visit you in prison, Sabion, I'll take your key. You're in charge here until I can sort this all out. Ooh. You. You're coming with me to Dragon's Reach. I would feel bad, but you weren't very nice, Sabion. To be fair, this guy's taking rat poison like a champ. He did just have a whole cup of rat poison infested mead, so... Fair play to the, uh, the captain for taking that like a champ. Alright, now I was not paid. Oh, that was what I needed the key for. Okay, I got the key then. But I didn't even know that's what he was going to give me for this. Okay, that's sweet. We've got the key now. Uh, we've already looted his office because we have, of course, taken uh, all his silver and his uh, gems. So we're going to be even more. We're getting so rich so quickly. Man, thieving in Skyrim is the way to go. It's just it's just that the money you get from it is just... It's just uh, I mean, what can I say apart from, man, it, it, crime does pay in Skyrim for sure. It, it really does. Now, Sabjorn, I know that you've been arrested, but my last piece of the puzzle is looting your books and changing, finding out your po silent partner. Let's read, yes. Oh, no. Oh, I want to read it. I know I shouldn't, but I, I want to. Sabjorn, within your closure, do the final payment. Okay, there's a silent partner here getting involved. It's not my place to... To investigate this, but whatever. Okay, let's return to Maven now and get our payment. You know, because of course, payment to a thief is the is what we're really after. You know, we're not after the greater good or anyone. We're when you know our, our own interests are what we care about. Not 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 Maven Blackbriars. That being said, let's take more mead, sell it to someone. All right, then let's head back to Riften, shall we? About time we got paid for this goddamn work. 
All right, Maven, you better give me some decent coin for this, okay? You can run around all over Skyrim. What's a good coin for once? Let's see what we got going up here then. I'm expecting good payment from you. you good Job's finished. Here's the information. Orcish sort of burning doesn't interest me at all. What? I want gold. I want things, man. Damn you, Maven. I want coin, okay? I don't want orcish swords that I have to sell, okay? Do you think? Look at me. Do I use orcish great swords of burning? No. I use blackjacks and, and stealth arrows with traps and things. Am I feeling sick? Oh yeah, I am sick. The skeevers poisoned me. Let me just drink my potion of uh, delicious potion of cure disease. There we are. Okay, so he needs to return to the Thieves Guild to turn in this quest and hopefully get some decent payment. Get rid of this goddamn orcish sword. I'll sell that to someone who can actually use that. But for now, my friends, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. We got up to quite a bit of cloak and daggery in this episode. We poisoned a batch of mead, got some guy arrested. A lot of thief infiltration stuff been happening in the series. Pretty fun. Still, though, my main goal is to definitely loot the, the Whiterun Vault still, because I really want to get in my hands on all of that silver and gold I saw behind the behind the goddamn vault. But for now, I'm going to end it here. I'm going to stick around with the Thieves Guild for a bit longer, see what they're up to, see how much I can use them. Uh, as, soon as, they, as soon as it starts getting not worth it, I'm going I'm to ditch them and work on getting that vault looted. So for now, my friends, I'm going to leave this episode here. As always, if you like what you see, feel free to leave a like. And if you do want to see more, consider subscribing. I shall see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye for now.